This is a city of amnesia. But sometimes memories appear suddenly and unexpectedly out of the darkness. phantom that Major Dan Dostin caught a glimpse of. Was it really a lingering spectral image of something he saw once long, long ago? Uh, sir, is something wrong? I just had a weird dream. A dream? It's a reoccurring one. I uh, have it every once in a while. Might be a trace of memory. Casualties? Well, Major, counting Sam Lawrence, a counselor from the Justice Department, and two of his assistants, that would bring the total to 46. They didn't know what hit him. In other words, 43 were innocent bystanders. It's the same M.O. as the bombing at the Department of Justice 10 days ago. I don't get it. What's the bomber after? Why is he only targeting over-the-hill retired city officials? Huh? Major Dawson? <sighs> well, they've reportedly found part of the bomb detonator nearby. Maybe it'll provide some clues and give us a break in this case. Let's hope so. Dan Dawson is a hard-nosed cop. He's completely devoted to the force, and he has more pride in the military police than anything else. In a different sense, Paradigm City needs him as much as it needs me. Unknown language? Well, I'm not sure if that's actually an accurate description. But I discovered there were some indecipherable letters carved on part of the device. Oh, look, here it is. Likely, he's a man who has no interest in romance. Uh, <clears throat> what do you want? I didn't come here for anything. I was just in the area, so I thought I would drop by. Hmm. You want me to believe that? Hey, stranger things have been known to happen. I can't imagine what brought about this change of heart, but your timing is bad. I have to go in front of an inquiry committee right now. Say, Roger, 
What does this mean to you? Vous êtes si gentil. Don't know. I've never heard that language before. I thought so. As I've already explained to you in my earlier statements, the string of terrorist bombings has some inexplicable elements to it. Then you maintain the notion that the perpetrator isn't from our city, but from somewhere else. In other words, a different country. I'm just suggesting that it's a possibility. <laughs> That's preposterous. The rest of the world has been utterly wiped out. Major, there's nothing out there. Paradigm City is all that remains of our civilization. Begging your pardon, gentlemen, but I think this matter should be... Major Dustin, the police force is to go on full alert immediately. We expect your men to root out the violent element which is infesting our city. At once! Do you really think this is for the best? After all, the man is in contact with that negotiator from time to time. Relax. There's no need to make a to-do out of it. I'm not worried. It's not going to jeopardize my plans if people learn about the existence of foreigners. In fact, it might even prove to be quite beneficial. That board of inquiry can stuff it! Those paper-pushing high and mighty desk jockeys must think we're nothing more than mindless watchdogs. Aren't we? Hmm? We are supposed to be Paradigm's watchdogs, right? Sir, I don't follow you. To put it simply, Dustin, I'm taking you off the investigation as of this moment. I assume the inquiry committee is pressuring you. Consider it a paid vacation. Go take it easy for a while. Major Dustin. One of these days you need to learn what justice is really about. Well, sir, as far as I'm concerned, I understand it perfectly. Terrorist bomber struck again. His mark, another elderly retired government employee. 26 passengers on a nearby city bus were also lost in the explosion, as well as a young police officer who was on guard duty.
I've never had a guest visit this late before. And somehow I doubt that you came here to talk about a job offer, eh, Major? Sorry, my feet just seem to bring me here. Ah, it happens to everyone sometimes. I don't remember when I first saw it, but I know that the dream is based on a scene from an old movie I watched when I was a kid. It's bone-chilling cold as snow falls softly onto a winter sea. The woman is shot, presumably by the man she loves. Buzette si gentil. It sounds like a language from some other country, probably where the movie was made. And this woman you dreamt about, you believe you saw her in the flesh? Go ahead and laugh. The whole thing sounds ridiculous. Maybe I'm delusional or starting to lose it. <clears throat> Dan, I'm not laughing, and if I can help you in any way, please let me know. Hmm. You being charitable by taking pity on your old boss? No. I'm simply a friend who likes to meddle. Here. Major Dostin returned to duty several days later. That was considered highly irregular, but no one voiced any complaints about it. In this city, the decisions handed down by a certain man are law. But at this point, I don't care about that. As a professional, I just try to do my best. And the woman Dawson saw, even if it turns out that she's only an illusion, he'll still have to find an answer that'll satisfy him. <laughs> Toy balloons and soldiers, what a perfectly mismatched scene. Oliver Garland, a senior counselor of the Justice Department, is going to be giving a speech tonight to a crowd of children. I hear he represents the management of the amusement park. At a dangerous time like this, I think the smartest thing to do would be to call it off. It's baffling how a politician's mind works. All we can do is diligently carry out our duties as we're sworn to do. That's something that's never changed about you. Roger. Just tell me what you found out already. Neither of us came all the way here so you could sharpen your sarcastic wit on me. Based on what you told me, I came up with this. The woman in your dreams was an actress named Sybil Rowan. She only starred in one movie by the title of Winter Night Phantom. But no film prints exist anymore. The government ordered them all to be burned 30 years ago. I learned that when Paradigm City was founded, the counselors at the time who assisted the original chairman, Gordon Rosewater, expelled everyone from the city who was suspected of having anti-government leanings. Including that woman, Sybil. Her beauty made her a symbol for the anti-government groups. Under extreme pressure, officials had her arrested. It's rumored she was thrown into prison. Huh? where she lived out the rest of her days. You mean? She's gone. But there is also an interesting rumor. I heard Sybil Rowan was from another country, someplace far, far away. <laughs> Nobody knows much about her now. Those were all the facts I could dig up. As for your mystery woman, I still have... Forget haven't. it. You've done enough. I'll repay you later. Okay. You can buy me a drink sometime.
checkpoints been secured? That's affirmative. We swept the area for concealed explosives and found nothing. Correct. Even if a terrorist does try to get in, he'll never be able to get through our security. We're ready for him. Good heavens, what was that? entrance, but an appropriate one for pathetic foreigners, wouldn't you say? No one here. Then where? Finally meet. Just who are you, huh? A phantom. A phantom? I am the one who can grant eternal sleep to an accursed past. Uh -oh. <sighs> I don't believe it. That robot is a walking bomb. <sighs> I can't just go and swing in then, can I? Lady, I don't know what you're after, but I'm not gonna let you get away with it. <gasps> you're taking the lives of innocent people, plain and simple. You pathetic paradigm lapdog. Say what you like, but even this old hound has his pride. That helped out. you do it? Mm. I merely did what I felt was right and what I thought must be done. We both did our duty. That's all it amounts to. It's strange. I felt as though it would turn out like this for a long, long time. I've known too for as long as I can remember. Are you crying? There is no record of Sybil Rowan ever having a young daughter. Not to mention... Nah. 
Regardless of what the truth might be, there's no reason to keep digging up a buried past. For Dan Dostin, those memories of a day long ago may have been merely an illusion.